Boost your English. Express your passions and hobbies like a pro. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fantastic topic. How to express your passions and hobbies in English. We know how important it is to share your interests with others, whether you're making new friends, attending social events, or simply having a casual conversation. So, let's get started. When we talk about our interests and hobbies, we use certain phrases to express our likes and dislikes. Here are some common phrases you might use. I enjoy. I'm interested in. I love. I'm passionate about. One of my hobbies is. These phrases allow us to begin discussing our hobbies and interests. Now let's pair these phrases with some common hobbies and interests. There are countless hobbies and interests out there, and they will vary greatly depending on the individual. However, here's a list of some of the most common hobbies and interests you might discuss. Reading. I love reading. My favorite genre is mystery. Traveling. I enjoy traveling. I've been to 10 different countries. Cooking. I'm passionate about cooking. I especially like making Italian dishes. Painting. One of my hobbies is painting. I use watercolors most of the time. Playing a musical instrument. I'm interested in music. I play the guitar. Photography. I enjoy photography, particularly landscape shots. Fitness or sports. I love playing soccer. I play in a local league. You might also want to describe your hobbies in more detail. Here are some ways to expand your sentences and make your conversations more interesting. Frequency. I usually read before bed. I travel every summer. Level of interest. I absolutely love painting. I'm really into cooking these days. Experience or achievements. I've been playing guitar for five years. I have won a few photography competitions. That wraps up our lesson for today. I hope this guide will help you to express your hobbies and interests more confidently and in greater detail. The next time you're in a conversation, don't be afraid to use these phrases and vocabulary. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep practicing and keep improving. Until next time, happy learning!